Because that goat took away their sins and their iniquities. Glory to God. And so Jesus took our sins away. Oh, glory to God. Let's look at it. It's the same thing. Same thing. Now, I read to you from Isaiah chapter number 53, where we started. And uh, let me read that all the way so you can get the picture again. Are you ready? Okay, Isaiah chapter 53 from verse 4. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are here. Read verse, verse 6, 1 to go. And, and the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Like Aaron laid on that goat the iniquity of the whole country. It says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Like the Israelites did. And the Lord did what? He laid on him the iniquity of us all. Hallelujah. So, this is what you have in the mind of um, Matthew here when it says that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by says the prophet himself took our infirmities and burned our sicknesses he carried away he took away he bore on himself he removed to take away our sicknesses I think that's powerful all the time this scripture reminds me of a little girl many years ago little girl years ago had problems with her lungs she couldn't breathe anymore she had to be on bed rest completely connected to oxygen and because um, her lungs were badly damaged the doctor said there was no hope she was going to die and her mother was taking care of her now as she got closer to her death she couldn't take solid food for months and um, while on the bed her mother gave her a little bible to study so she was reading and waiting to die can you imagine just waiting to die she knew she was dying she was waiting to die so she was studying the bible and she came to first peter chapter 2 and she got to this place reading about Jesus from verse 21 for even here unto where ye called because Christ also suffered for us leaving us an example that you should follow his steps who did no sin neither was God found in his mouth who when he was reviled reviled not again when he suffered he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judged righteously. Who oh, his own self bore our sins on his own body on a tree. And she broke down and said a cry. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you. Because you bore my sins on your own body on the cross. And now that I'm dying, I'm coming home. So I'll see you soon, Lord Jesus. And she prayed that prayer with tears in her eyes so she kept on reading are we being dead to sins to live 
unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Oh, she said, I never saw that before. By whose stripes ye were healed? Oh. Lord, I just thanked you for bearing my sins. I didn't know you healed me too. Then she said, Lord, I'm sorry I won't be coming home very soon. <laughs> she got rid of the oxygen. Now, remember, she hadn't eaten solid food for months and she had grown to skin bones. Skin bones. I think tuberculosis had taken its toll. It was many years ago. And she came off of that place, took the oxygen off, walking ever so slowly. Mama! And her mother heard her scream and then she ran downstairs. What is it, darling? What is it? Get my breakfast. What? When the mother saw her, she almost fainted. She started crying and got her together and carried her back to bed. No, honey, you haven't eaten solid food for months. I'll call a doctor. No, she said, Mama, I just read the Bible. Jesus already healed me. Mama said, oh, no. The doctor said, the day you die, you'll lose your mind. Now, isn't that amazing? When you start acting on, on the word of God, they say you've lost your mind. the day you die you lose your mind that's what the doctor said and while she was talking to the doctor the girl came out of that place again got into the kitchen and got herself a nice meal mama was all the time crying now until the doctor came honey what's the matter put on the bed What's the matter? She said, nothing the matter. I just found out Jesus already healed me. Now, did she feel healed? No, she didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't feel healed. What happened? She saw it in the Word. That the same scripture where it said Jesus took our sins away, it said we were healed. He took our sins, Pastor. By the center of it all, it's you that I see. It's you that I see.